Good afternoon, boys and girls. For those of you that don't know, my name is Mr. O'Neill and I am the art teacher. Today, we have a very special lesson planned for you. Today, we are going to do a picture of yourself. And when we do a picture of ourselves, we call it something very special. We call it a self-portrait. So here are the steps that we like to do to do a self-portrait. We start right here with the head. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I forgot. Tell your teacher to pause anytime you need to stop for a minute. Pause the little video and then you can draw and then you can start up again. Okay, so we're gonna start our self-portrait by drawing your head. And your head is pretty much a circle. So we'll get your pencil. Go ahead, draw a circle. Okay, easy as that. Now the next step that we need to draw is your neck. And your neck is right here under your head, so you have to put the stuff in the right place. And we're gonna draw not one line, but we're gonna go one, two lines. Just that easy, and we have a neck. Alrighty, now we've gotta do the bottom of the neck. And the bottom of the neck is the top of your shirt. So feel with me right there. Put your finger and feel what the top of your shirt feels like. The top of my shirt today is a curved line. So I'm going to draw a curved line, just like that. Okay? What's the next body part that we have? What's the next body part that we have? It's our shoulders, that's right. So I'm gonna draw a line from the bottom of my neck right here on either side, a nice straight line for my shoulders. Now, we have to have our arms that come down, so we're gonna come around. And you might wanna do your arms in different ways. Some people wanna do their arms like this or like that. So it's up to you as to which way that you draw your arms. They don't always have to be down at your side like this because that would be boring. So you can pick the direction and how you're going to draw your arms and do that. I'm gonna put one down at the side like this and I'm gonna put one out here. I'm gonna put one up and one down. And I'm drawing kind of my sleeves first. Then I'll draw the sides of my body right here. See these sides? And I'll just go down, down, just like that. All right. Carms. All right, now that we've got all the body done, we can work on the face. And what we're gonna do for the face is we're gonna start with all the face parts. We'll start with the eyes. Your eyes, you won't want your face to look like this. That's not a good face. So what we're gonna do is we'll start with the eyes and we'll draw the eyes really nice. Eyes are the shape of footballs. So what we're gonna do is we'll come in here and I'll draw, to draw a football, I'm gonna draw one rainbow. Oops, that's not a very good rainbow. I'll draw one rainbow and then an upside down rainbow. I'll draw another rainbow and another upside down rainbow. Now that kind of doesn't totally look like your eyes yet because your eyes are footballs, but your eyes also have kind of this basketball or baseball shape inside of them. Then you put a little black dot or a little bowling ball or something up inside of that and that kind of looks like eyes. After that, we're gonna draw a nose and our nose, everybody always tells me, I don't know how to draw a nose, I don't know how to draw a nose. Well, you know how to draw this, don't you? What's that? Fish hook, right? Well, if you pretend that you're drawing a fish hook and you take apart the little part that you put the line on and you take apart the little hooky part that catches the fish, then you put a little C next to it. <gasps> well, there, all of a sudden, you have a nose. So let's put that nose on the face. So let's put that like fish hooky shape and then just like that. Now mouths, mouths are a little bit harder because mouths have all sorts of different um, parts. We're gonna start right underneath the nose, we're gonna start with a little upside down rainbow. 
Okay, right there. Then we'll do a line down for this side of the mouth, a line down for that side of the mouth, and then we're going to connect, and there's your top lip. But that's only your top lip. Don't stop there and forget to draw your bottom lip. So now we'll go just like that, and we have a bottom lip. Okay. Now you can go ahead and add some other details that make your face good. You can put some eyebrows, and some people have skinny eyebrows, and some people have bushy eyebrows. I kind of have bushy eyebrows. So I'll put some eyebrows up on there. And then your ears, your ears are over here on the sides of your head. You have to draw your hair, and I can't really show you how to draw hair because everybody has different hair. I'll draw my hair on there. Just kind of little some squigglies for me. Because I don't have a whole lot of hair anymore. Going to draw the hair on my chin there. Draw my goatee in there. Because that's what makes it look like me. Something like that. Okay? Well, there's the face. Well, we're still not done. We've got to go back and we have to do the better parts of the body. Okay, so we'll start with our sleeves and we kind of draw our sleeves out to the side like that. Then we'll draw the sides of our body here, and they're just really lines that go straight down, just like that. Okay, now we draw the line at the bottom between our shirt and our pants, or our shirt and our skirt. So you draw the line along where your belt is, and that's just a straight line right across there. All right, pants. Okay, well you gotta think again, is how are my legs gonna be? Well, if I'm just standing here, they're just like that. But if I'm dancing, they might be out here. Or if you're playing soccer, across like that. So think about what it is that you want your legs on your person to look like, and then draw them. I'm gonna do like this. I don't know why, but I just wanna do it like this. So I'm gonna draw one leg straight down and the other one out to the side. So straight down. Then the bottom of my pants will go straight across and the inside of this straight leg will come right back up here. Now the other one's weird because remember it's going to be sticking out. So it's going to be like this. Well, it doesn't go straight down, does it? The leg will stick out this way. Then the other part of my leg will go down this way. Straight across at the bottom again up and back over to where they touch. Okay? All right. Shoes, feet, all the way at the bottom there. I'm just going to put potatoes on there for feet. Now, you can do some fancy shoes if you want to, but I am just going to do just some kind of little circles of potato -y looking things right there because I'm not going to worry about my feet too much right now. Okay. Well, once you've gotten all of this stuff done, we can go back and we can start on the face. All right, and when we're working on the face, this is what we need to do. All right, so now that we have the face drawn, we need to finish out our body, because right now we don't have any arms and they're not doing anything. And well, I've got some more details on my, on my shirt and all, and all sorts of stuff that I need to draw. So, we'll start with the arms. 
Is that a good arm? No. That's a stick arm. We don't need to be drawing any stick arms up here because look at your arm. That is not a stick. So why would you draw a stick? So what we're going to do to fix Mr. Stick Arm right there is we're just going to draw right out next to it. We'll draw one stick. Then we'll draw two sticks. That pretty much is what your arm looks like. So we'll do that over here as well. One stick, two sticks. Just that simple. All right, right here we're going to put some hands on there. Does that look like a good hand? No. That's a tata and some french fries. You don't need to be drawing tatas and french fries up in here. So we're going to erase that and look at your hand. If you look at your hand, that thumb right there is always pointing in towards your body. So we're going to draw a thumb pointing in towards your body. And it's just a loop like that. That's all it is. It's just a loop. So we're going to draw how many more of those? Four more of those. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Five fingers just like that. Do the same over on the other hand. A loop for the thumb right here towards your body. One, two, three, four more. There we go. All right. Now, details. Details are little things that are going to make your picture better. And we're going to do that by anything you want to. You don't have to draw yourself wearing the clothes you're wearing today. They can be any kind of clothes you want. So I'm going to go in here, put a little collar here, maybe some stripes over here on my sleeve. I'm going to put, I think, because this is maybe somebody playing as, as a sports star, so I'm going to put a big old number on my shirt. Just like that. Okay. And let's see. Well, figure out if you want maybe some stripes on your pants. Fancy sports pants. I don't know. Stripe across the bottom. Anything you want to as far as details go. So take some time right now, a few more minutes, and spend that time drawing the details and finishing up any parts of the person that you didn't have a chance. Maybe you want to put you know, some tennis shoes on your person, or maybe there's some cleats because you're playing football or baseball or whatever you need to do. Maybe you want to add, I don't know, a ball onto as part of your detail. Anything that you want to draw as long as it is touching your person. Finish it up and that'll be our lesson for today. All right? Great. Oh, forgot to tell you. One last thing that we're going to have to do is at the end of class, what I need you to do, flip your papers over on the back. Flip them over on the back. I need you to write your name on the back of these because I'm going to have to keep up with them. Write your name on the back of your paper and write your teacher's name. If you don't know how to spell it, just do your best or your teachers that are in here will help you. But write your name and your teacher's name on the back. What we're going to do is there is a bucket over on my table where you got your pencil and your paper. You need to have, when your table is called, you need to make sure your pencil goes back where it goes, make sure your pencil sharpener if you got it goes back, and make sure your paper goes in your teacher's bucket, otherwise you won't have it to work on next week. Okay, there you go.